No. Is that that's all right? I like slow groups. I like them. Why? Because it takes time for a shift in your consciousness. Do you all get that? When you stop thinking this income thing, and even the people around the room, when you shift your whole game to more residual income, you're going to have wealth faster. I didn't make it up. I just discovered how the system works. I'm passing it on to you. If you had $50,000 in mutual funds, can you earn $5,000 a month? Yes. Yes. If you were getting, this is why I get so excited up here. If you were earning 10% on your money every month, every 10 months, you would pull in how much? Another $50,000. Why? Just selling call options. This is big. This is really big. All you need is a computer. Right? So my whole business is in my laptop in a Verizon wireless card. Right? that I can trade from anywhere. So when I flew in yesterday, there's a specific trade I like to do at 3.45 because I can get out Monday morning very, very quickly. But the car service was late at the airport, so I couldn't set up the trade. So I was like, ah, I'll have to make more money Monday to Tuesday. Is that good? <laughs> do you see why I'm so happy up here? <laughs> yes. And you don't know me well enough, but if I discover it, am I going to pass it on to you? I have to. That's just, I'm just blessed like that. I'm just one of those people that's got to share the good news. Do you like this constant yep. money coming in? Yes. Yep. Yes? Yes. Yep. Okay. If you get this process sort of, are you supposed to understand this by the end of today? No. no. Just brand new. Let's go to the, and see how it works actually in the real world. I'm going to show you some examples, and then I'm going to show you the kind of money that you're going to start making in the next 90 days if you come with me and get a financial education. Does everybody get that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Certain stocks in the stock market carry more risk than others. <laughs> the top 30 stocks in the stock market comprise something called, just write this down, you don't have to know what it is, I'll teach you what it is later, how it works. It's called the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Right? Those are the top 30 stocks. Coca-Cola, McDonald's, IBM. Right? Okay. DuPont. Um, Johnson & Johnson, these are companies that are probably not going out of business within the next week or so, right? Multinational, billion dollar companies from around the world. This is a picture of DuPont. And I deliberately pulled this for you, since this is all about you, your hopes, your dreams, where you want to be financially in the next five years or so. When you stop, stop just doing real estate, you do real estate and stocks, why? Both and, not either or. This is a chart of DuPont since it was publicly traded before 1965. Has the stock ever gone to zero? No. 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 Dow components tend not to go to zero. Everybody with me on that? Does the stock over time has a ten have a tendency to rise? Yes. yes, it does take some dips down over time, but we can choose the amount of risk that we want in our portfolio when we have a financial education instead of giving our money to somebody else and hoping that they know what they're doing. Does everybody get that? Yeah. Okay. So DuPont has a tendency to rise. So what would I like for you to do when you first start making this money on a monthly basis? Just stay in the Dow. Why? Because you're going to have a hard time believing the $5,000, $10,000, $11,000, $15,000, $15, whatever it is hitting your account every month. That's going to be hard for you to accept at first. People go, oh, no, not me. Yes, you too. You too. I don't care how much money you have. When you are clicking a mouse for three minutes and you make $10,000, that tends to take some time to get used to. Are you with me on that? Yeah. Okay. So I always say for the first three months, just stay in Dow. That way you don't have to worry about your money disappearing. Just collect the income and get used to that process because it's very powerful. And what you're learning is very powerful. So let's do a very quick DuPont trade because I am going to run out of time with you. When I pull this chart, does anybody see what the stock yesterday closed at? This is yesterday. 4413. Now, how do you know that? I circled it. You're going to have to be a genius. There it is. All right, turn the page, please. If we paid $44.13 for the stock, does everybody see going down the center of the page something called the strike price? Yes? Okay, this is all free research on the internet. Prior to the internet, you have to pay for a fee to come into your house, $1,500 a month, just to get the information 
you have for free, all on the internet. You have to learn how to use it, of course. But I love the internet, and more importantly, I love Al Gore for having invented it. <laughs> right. Oh, you got that. I do it in LA, and people are like, I don't understand, I don't understand. All right, there we go. There we go. We got the smart crowd with us today. Okay, here we go. If we bought the stock for $43.13, would we be happy selling it to someone at $45? Oh, yeah. Yes, that would be called a profit, right? Okay. What do rich people do? They buy things to sell things. Middle class people buy things to hold on to them and talk about holding on to them. That's not how you get rich. Here we go. I bought the stock at $43.13. I'm willing to sell it at the 45 strike. Do you see that? In the stock market, you've got to learn the money language if you're going to get rich. In the stock market, you buy something at the ask and you sell at the bid, right? So you might see what the bid is for the $45 strike. $1.20. How do you know it's the $1.20? $1.29, I'm getting old. <laughs> How do you know it's the $1.29? I circled it. If you bought the stock at $44.13, and you sold the right to someone else to buy it away from you at 45, your rate of return, write this down, is 2.9%. Do you have to write it down? No. Why? No. I'm giving you the answer. Our stock is on hold until November 18th. Why? That is the third Friday of the month. Those of you who are owning stocks and you're not pulling in residual income, you're missing thousands and thousands of dollars. We don't want to just hold them. We want them to pay us every single month. How do we know this option expires on the, night, on the 18th? Because it actually says on the page, option expires November 18th. This $1.29 per share, if we did it with 100 shares, wouldn't we take it $129? We did this with a thousand shares, gang, on a Dow component, a company that's not going out of business. Aren't you pulling in $1,290 in three minutes for this transaction? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, to make that 2.9%. Is that correct? Correct. All right. You're doing well here. Here we go. If the stock is actually bought away from us, why? Because DuPont has a tendency to rise. Don't we make additional money? Yes. 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 Do you know how much money we make additionally? 87 cents a share. Did I write that on the page? No, just write down 87 cents. Stay with me. That means the guaranteed income plus the sale of the price, which we call the sale of the stock, which we call capital gains, brings you $2.16 per share, which is a 4.8% return. 30 day transaction. 1,000 shares brings in. How much? 1,000 shares brings in $1,290 in guaranteed income. Do you have to go to court for that? No. no. Fix the roof? No. no. Domestic violence issues in your property? <laughs> no. Okay. Just in three minutes. Could you pay your cable bill with this? <laughs> be a hell of a cable bill, wouldn't it? Yeah. That is correct. All right. So, we take in that $1,290 on 1,000 shares, and if we're called out, we make an additional 870 bucks in three weeks. What if the stock never goes to the 45 strike? Do we still get to keep this? Yes. We get to keep this money no matter what? Yes. When the option expires, if it hasn't gone above the strike price, do you know what we get to do? Sell another option. Is this hard? No. So we have a saying in the Wealthy Investor Program, write this down. Because you're going to love this process. Three minutes a month. By the way, if I can help you make this money working three minutes a month, do you think there's some other trades that are even faster? Do you think there's some other trades that yes. make this money even faster? Right. But I'm not going to show you those today because I'm just trying to introduce you to what's here. Does everybody get this? Yes. Okay. So we have a saying in the Wealthy Investor Program I'd like for you to write down. And it goes like this. We never... Ever, ever marry a stock. We only date them. We never, ever, ever marry a stock. We only what? Date them. We only date them, right? When are we going to break up with these companies that we're dating? No, 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 not that song. When their revenue goes down, when they stop making money. 
you get that? <coughs> yes? Yeah. Yeah. So when, if DuPont, turns out they, they've been making money for 30 years. But if they ever stop their top, we call it their top line revenue. If that top line revenue ever declines, we break up with the company. You get that? Yes. 